Met Police 1, Chester United 0. Just as it was on Tuesday, Taylor Crossdale, solitary goal, gives us a 1-0 win here in McCourt to cap off another excellent performance. You must be pleased with your side. Well, obviously, yeah, you've got to delight with the result. Um, good quality side, um, difficult side, very difficult side, high against, organised, good management team. Um, so you've got to play them with due respect. They deserve 100%. I think we did that today. Um, and I felt the first half looked like... Um, certainly wasn't set up to be from our point of view but it looked like two teams probably trying not to get beat uh, if I'm honest it was a little bit of a cagey tentative affair uh, not a lot going on in front of goal we probably had slightly the better chances but nothing to write home about that's for sure and um, you know I said to him in the second half I think, you know we, we play in a certain way and, and you know it is what it is but I, I just felt that we were set up right um, we were um, in the right shape we were doing Lots of the right things, but we just weren't doing them well enough. Um, and the execution in passes, etc., um, wasn't quite to our standard. And I, and I thought second half, um, we got that right. Um, we got that right. Well, we were better. We were better. I wouldn't say it was vintage, it wasn't perfect, but we were better. And uh, obviously, as you rightly say, scored the goal. So, um, you know, they deserve all the plaudits, the plus, 100%. You know, it's, um, it's me that sits here, but those guys um, have to go out. And they've had some really, really tough games recently. We've, we've, we've been talking about it, and um, you know this is just another one of them. And when you look at the next league game, it's uh, it doesn't get any easier. So um, I'm not, you know, not going to sit here and talk about anything any, where we'll be in the season. No, we just got to look at Bracknell next week and um, and try and uh, try and get three points. And uh, that's all I can ask from at the moment because what's gone is gone. What's ahead of us, we can influence. Simple as that. And off the pitch this afternoon, we saw we welcomed mascots in the court celebrating on League Day. How important do you feel you've seen more into the first team into this club? I, I think I think what we are, and you have to understand what we are, is um, certainly a development club. Um, so those guys, and it's not unheard of. Although we saw you know seven and eight year olds out here, nine year olds in some respects, um, it's not unheard of for people to have come through our junior section, moved on through the ranks of playing for the Boston. Uh, you side and, and, and the 20 and then moving into the first team so they're they're a massively important part of, of the connection to this football club because um as we know they have produced really really good players and will continue to produce really good players and if we can get those people um more involved with the football club um then it shows the other angle which is our our community angle which is huge for this football club to be able to try and um, reach out within the community and um and you know from that in tandem with that comes development if, if i'm honest with you so i was absolutely delighted to see him here today we had a really good day they came in the dressing room they were an absolute credit to the junior section delight to have around um even tried to trip me up as i walked up the steps for a bit of a laugh which is which is great so for me i've loved having him here today and um you know it, it wasn't easy to put on um, and you have to uh, thank Sue, especially from the junior section, who's, who's done a lot of the work in respect of setting this up. But um, my view would be I'd love to see him here every week. Um, but we'll look to do something before the end of the season. And uh, I certainly will be trying to work out how we can, how we can strengthen our ties, um, because I don't think we do enough of it. And finally, next up, we visit Bracknell next week. Side have been in fine form recent months. How do you feel going into that game? I, I, do you know what? I, I, I said, I've said it a couple of times over the last sort of couple of interviews. Um, you know, I'm not saying this because I'm making any bold predictions that you know we'll take on anybody. You give Jack Bracknell their due respect. It's as simple as that. They are a good side. They have gone to good sides and won handsomely. Um, when you look at the, the most recent one at Western Supermare. Um, and they will get the respect that they deserve from us. Do I fear playing them? No, I'm not saying that. You know, at the end of that, someone get. You know, that we we, 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 we call it as a as a win. And yeah, we'll we'll be we'll be fine with that. Of course we won't. We're going to have to work desperately hard. We're going to have to have our game plan worked out. And we're going to and, and, and we're going to have to you know work hard in training. But um, the fact of the matter is, I've said it. We, we, I enjoy these games. I enjoy these games. I enjoy you know playing against your Cheshams and that. Um, because they're tough games, 
they're, they're, they're tough teams to play against, they're tough management to put your wits against, and um, I enjoy doing that. And if I fall short doing that, and I know John and Dino and Tazi the same, and Carl, if we fall short doing that, we will go away and we will just completely analyse what we do and say, do you know what, we're still in the learning curve, it's a steep learning curve for us, and we got this wrong today. Um, and you go away and you try and learn by that. So, tough game. We've obviously got Sutton in between that and the Surrey Senior Cup, which we're going to take uh, extremely seriously. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a competition that we want to do well in, although we have to have half an eye on what's going on for Saturday. So, um, yeah, all in all, um, back and tough, but we'll get Sutton out of the way first.